Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alexander Williamson here, and if there was any question if cultured plants are a good deal, I wanted to show you this. So I bought some cultured plants. This one is over a week old, and it has been in here no problem. You can see the roots have developed pretty intensely. And this one was one cup. It was full looking. I mean, you know, just like this one. And when you split it apart, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I have about 55 pieces of a stem plant, and that is, I'm counting pieces, some are that size, others are this size, and that's one piece, but there's three or four stems on there to the roots. So if you ever had a doubt if, if it's worth it, I mean, look at this clump. That's one clump, and I counted that like three or four times, but if you look closely, there's actually tons in there, and that's because... When they inoculate these cups, they inoculate the bottom, and then they let it grow a little bit, and then they trim them, and then they transplant them. So a lot of them now, if you get them from ADA, even have spots like this where you can see the color has changed, where they've snipped it off, or it's branched off of the main stalk to start that process of getting it nice and bushy for you. Now this is uh, this is Ludwigia arculata. Just picked this up from Aquarium Zen, Steve there. Uh, and this is a really beautiful plant. You can kind of see some of what's to come in the, the red here. If we pull it up into the light, maybe you'll see it better. But there is a beautiful red, especially if you use CO2, and uh, it kind of comes out almost looking like a bird of paradise plant. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. No snails, no rots, no fungus, none of that. And you just slip it in uh, either high-tech or low-tech tanks. But CO2 with substrate is the way to go, in my opinion. Just really gives these things a, a boost. And what I do is I'll put them over in the high-tech tank over there. And then once they've grown nice and hardy in about three weeks or so, I'll move them to my other tanks and then they seem to do just fine, uh, although they don't hold their super bright CO2 and high fur color. But I wanted to show you guys this and just make a point of how much plant material you get from those. So, all right, guys, uh, take it easy. Uh, if you're ordering plants online, Aquatic Arts is great. Also, uh, message Steve at Aquarium Zen on his Facebook. Bug him. Tell him you want him to send these uh, these plants across the country. He's been toying the idea in his head, and so I'm trying to get him to do that because he gets some really cool, rare Bucephalander and stuff like that. It's like 14 bucks or 10 bucks or 8 bucks or whatever it is, but you always get a good amount of material like this. And they're small starts, so they're not just like immersed clippings usually are coming out of Florida. They're actually like decent whole plants will grow from these because they're made out of clone cells. So, all right, guys, take care of yourself, take care of your fish, swim on, and have some culture. Duh, plants. Bye.